Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and very historic American city of Boston here in the state of Massachusetts in the area of New England in the northeast corner of the U.S. In this particular documentary, we're going to visit the magnificent building of the Christian Science Church here downtown in the center of Boston. This is one of the most magnificent buildings you are going to find in the whole state of Massachusetts. Let's go for a tour. We're going to learn a little bit about its architecture and a little bit about its history and about the religion of Christian science. Let's go for a tour. You will really enjoy it. Now, before we go inside and admire the architecture of the inside of this spectacular building first, Let's admire the outside views with the beautiful blue skies in the middle of the winter here in Boston. This is the magnificent building of the first Church of Christ, the scientist, built in 1906. And it is absolutely spectacular and it looks like it belongs somewhere in Venice, along the Grand Canal of Venice. And look how beautiful the architecture is. With 10 beautiful Corinthian columns right there. And a spectacular dome that can be seen from very far away here in downtown Boston. Now this is the second church built in 1906, right behind it we can find the original church built by uh, Mary Baker Eady at the end of the 19th century. But let's take a last good view and let's go inside. Come on. Okay, let's uh, look at this magnificent building. Let's admire its architecture. What a spectacular building indeed. I'm standing right at the center of the floor. Here is the magnificent organ played on Sundays during the services. What is really stunning is the architecture. It is built in Byzantine style. You will find the similar architectural type with Hagia Sophia or Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. Here's the central dome and four smaller domes around it, forming a cross. Here's another dome right there. Let's go closer and admire the organ right there. Now the dome, the diameter of the dome is 30 meters. And the height from where I'm standing at right now to the top of it is approximately 35 meters in height. Over 3,000 people can sit here. And on either side of the altar, there are two balconies. You see two of them right there. And two balconies right there. Whereas above the entrance, there are three balconies. It is one of the larger ones in the world. Right there. Absolutely magnificent. What's really spectacular are the details, the decorative details right there. The 
front of the balconies are absolutely beautiful. Here's another view of the magnificent dome. Now, this church was built in 1906 and it is called the Extension Church because there's another smaller church next to this one that was built in 1866. Now, let me explain a very important fact about the First Church of Christ the Scientist. It has nothing to do with Scientology. The two are completely different. This church believes in both the Old and the New Testament. And it was founded by Mary Baker Eady, who was born in the state of New Hampshire in 1821 and died here in Boston in 1910. The fundamental belief of this church is believing in the power of healing through very deep prayer. Faith alone is not enough. You must pray deeply in order to come close to God and to feel His love for mankind. Only through deep devotion to prayer you can heal yourself from the physical and mental illnesses that you may suffer. Now, this philosophy and this belief in the power of healing was created as a result of Mary Baker Eddy's fall in 1866. She turned herself to religion and she prayed very deeply and miraculously she was healed from all the injuries she sustained during her fall. And at the end of the 19th century, she established the first church of Christ the Scientist here in Boston. Now, I was very curious about the term of science inserted in the title of the church, like Christ the Scientist or the Christian Church of Science. Why science? Well, I asked one of the tour guides and she said that Christ, before he healed anybody, he prayed very deeply to God. And he did it every time before performing a miracle. He would pray deeply and then he would perform the miracle afterwards. So since science is based on performing a specific act and always getting the same result, therefore Christ was a scientist because he prayed and he always got the same result to heal somebody and to perform a miracle. How interesting. Now, this magnificent organ that you see here consists of 13,000 pipes, of which only 400 are visible. Let's take a closer look at this magnificent organ here at this beautiful church. Let's go closer and admire it. Come on. Now, I said that the architecture inside the church is of Byzantine style, and that's partially correct. The dome, the main dome, and the four smaller domes around it are clearly Byzantine in style. There are no columns inside the church. The columns are embedded into the walls, and they absorb all the weight, the heavy weight of the, from the domes, and that's purely Byzantine. What's uh, really different here is that the, decor the decorative elements here inside the church are purely Renaissance in style. So this is a Byzantine slash Renaissance style interior. And that makes it even more magnificent. Let's go look at the uh, decorative elements a little closer. And you will see what I mean. And uh, here's a good example of the Renaissance style of decoration inside this magnificent church. You can see the arch there. Uh, the inside of the arch is beautifully decorated with elements that we find in Venice, in Italy. So that's a very good, clear 
wonderful style from the Renaissance incorporated within the Byzantine style of this church.